Ah, uh, okay. Yeesh! Hi friends and welcome back. Last night my husband asked me if I would watch his Warzone gameplay while we had dinner. Hey, listen, right? People get their kicks in all different kinds of ways. And then that got me thinking that it would actually be really cool to watch his gameplay and react to it, which is exactly what we're going to be doing today. Without further delay, let's jump into the gameplay. Okay, so just to set this up, my husband plays with a controller on PC and he doesn't usually record his gameplay, but he wanted to test out his recording equipment built into his PC. So I think at this point he's literally in the process of setting it up. He's not camping in a cubby as it would appear. And we have already missed one kill, so we're picking up with him one kill into the game. Game. Let's see what he's got. Oh god. Oh god. Strong start. Holy. Okay, he absolutely outsmarted that guy. He's also getting sniped from green. Top of green. He's really weak. He has no plates, so I guess he's waiting to see if this guy challenges or not. And he did. He did. Yeah, he spots him. He spots him. Easy dubs, easy dubs. I absolutely hate the new Gulag setup. If you get that side where the car is, then you can literally just use the head glitch and it's really easy to pick the person off on the other side. And the only way that I've found to counter it is if you actually peek through the door of the container, you can catch them while they're going over the head glitch, but you've also got to rely on being able to get the full kill while you're doing that. Okay, so he's looted up in fire station. There's an enemy just called a UAV and he's seen that there's somebody over this side, although he's also now getting shot in the back which is kind of just the way solos goes. I will say that while we're both quite casual Warzone players, my husband is a lot better at this game than I am. Okay, so his loadout's just come in. He's being tracked. The loadout is obviously not in a very good spot. It's right in the middle of the road. So he's going to go and pick up a big bertha, I think, to give him a little bit of cover so that he can try and get his loadout safely. There are three other drops now, and his threat level is... Yeah, medium, so it's a little bit of a tricky spot to be in. Solos just stresses me out so much. Okay, honestly, I think he's kind of just sticking around the loadouts now so that he can wait for the other enemies to come and try and collect their loadouts. All right, okay, he sees him. Decides against that, goes back in the truck. I don't know that he's making a play to try and run him over here. Yes. Another, <laughs> there's another enemy car coming in. Oh my god. <laughs> he didn't even get that kill the other guy did. Wait, hang on. Oh, nice. <laughs> Gotta get that KD up somehow, though. Like, How are there so many vehicles? I think these guys are, maybe that's all of the loadouts, but they've thought twice about it because obviously if they stop, they're just gonna get picked off. Yeah, I mean, that's actually a pretty legit strat. Wait for the person who's knocked to actually get up with their self-revive and then just take them out. Ends up being your kill. And that poor guy that just drove off just lost out on his kill. Okay, he's still kind of hanging around this area. These two cars are still here, so these guys definitely won the loadout. Oh my good God. What is going on? <laughs> Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, good use of the little stun there. Okay, now this guy <laughs> this guy's hijacked his truck. <laughs> what the hell? I this is absolute carnage. Why are there so many people? Those people are gone though because the loadouts have now disappeared, so they're dead. Done for, not coming back. Is somebody else shooting at him from somewhere around here? Ah, uh, okay. Yeesh! Okay. So he's using the MP5 and the car 98K. He doesn't actually play Cold War MP at all. So while he's got access to the Cold War weapons, he hasn't got any of them leveled up. And he's also been really enjoying sniping recently. So he's loving using the car 98K. The MP5, I don't think would be his first choice. Normally when we play duos or we play squads, I will actually set up a ghost class that has the Mac 10 so that once we get our second loadout, he can take my Mac 10 class setup. Okay. He's see somebody in fire station i think they've actually just dropped out the back there okay no he's also now getting shot from over here 
<laughs> See you, bud. Oh, he's actually much better at this game than me. He's so much better than I am. It's so depressing. Where are these people coming from? We missed a couple of shots there. Okay, I mean, this guy's around here somewhere, but... I find Solo so stressful. I feel like he doesn't really get as, like, anxious as I do playing it. And I feel like half the time I end up choking stuff because I get so stressed by it. I mean, he just manages to keep us cool. Oh, there he is, there he is. I don't think he spotted him at first. <laughs> Little zigzag run to try and escape. <laughs> He's so toxic. I love it. <laughs> the toxicity. Okay, he's gonna go pick up a bounty. I feel like this is the best way to play solos aggressively is just to go and pick up bounties and challenge people. There's so many people in solos that just camp all the time and honestly, like... Oh, yeah, okay. Quick little detour. <laughs> and he's gone. That was worth stopping for. If you don't have self-revive in solos as well, then you're screwed. So, like, sniping is, like, super OP. Sometimes it's really frustrating if you get somebody from far away and you just get the down and you can't finish it, but it's actually surprising how many people don't have self-revive. He's got a 1.7 KD, so that's kind of, like, the level that we're at here. And yes, it's better than my KD. I actually find it super interesting to watch other people's gameplay. Okay, there's an enemy dropping in. His bounty, I think, is also on that roof where he just killed that other person. I literally have no idea what, what this truck maneuvering is. It's some real nice driving you got there. He also refuses to play as any other operator other than this one that he's using permanently. I can't remember what she's called, but it's the one with the Scottish accent. And every time we do the accent, it's not even funny. I don't know whether he's just given up on his bounty, honestly. I, I think sometimes when people are at the top of a roof like that, it's just really hard to challenge it. Get UAV, yeah, checking that building first because there's always somebody camping at the top of there. And there, there they are. There they are. There's certain buildings that you can literally just guarantee there's people on. Yeah, you can hear him sniping up there. I think he's thinking that when he calls the loadout in, the guy will peek and there he is. <laughs> yeah, nice. 200 IQ right there. But yet again, another person that didn't have self-revive. I mean, he's sitting at the top of the building there. You'd think it would make sense, right? 10 kills. I think his highest is maybe like 16, 17. I think he's really trying to improve, so he's being a bit more aggro um, and challenging more. And he's just got shot in the back. <laughs> Why would somebody be down here, though? That's tough to challenge. Why would somebody be in here? He's sitting there with Claymore set up. Who... Oh my. <laughs> Get wrecked. Why in here of all places, why would you be in here camping with a claymore set up? Oh. Oh god. God. Yikes. <laughs> I don't know what he said, but he didn't sound very happy. Is it everybody in solos is just always creeping and lurking around corners, honestly. This is why it's like a horror game. It absolutely terrifies me. Honestly, this is where it starts getting super tense for me. There's 10 players left. Well, nine, obviously, including him. It just starts to get so stressful. He's got a few enemy UAVs over him now as well. I mean, it's worth a shot, right? Michael Scott, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. <laughs> yeah, this is where I start choking massively. If I make it this far, this is absolutely where I start choking. This is a risky push because there's always somebody at the top of here. Yeah, listen, footsteps, straight away. Oh God. Oh my good God, oh my God, look at his health. Jeez, okay, he almost lost that. He does actually have a self-revive, although he would have still been exposed. There's somebody in here. Oh god, yeah, there he is. Yikes. Oh my god, he's making a getaway! Jeez, okay. Wasn't quite sure what the plan was there, to be honest, but I think sometimes it's good just to actually reset the fight. Okay, I think he's thinking that that guy on that roof is going to have to probably push over this way so that if he does, the cluster strike should get him. I find honestly half the time the cluster strike and the precision airstrike 
unless you've got somebody knocked and you can't finish them they're just half the time they're useless <laughs> okay this is anxious hours there's seven people left I think that's just the point where you just don't over challenge and you just slow it right down and kind of wait to figure out where everybody is and I'm like literally waiting for the jump scare <laughs> waiting for it why am I like really stressed <laughs> why am I really stressed for him yeah there's footsteps out there this is making me super anxious four people left weirdly nobody's pushing this building I honestly thought somebody would have done oh yeah yeah fights out there Thinking about the third party, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? I'm not. <laughs> I mean, honestly, he's got a gas mask and he's got dead silence, so he's actually in quite a good position here because he doesn't need to go rushing out. He is going to have to push now, though, because of where the zone's gone. Oh, they're all outside the door. <laughs> yeah, just wait. He's just waiting. Biding his time. Holy... Oh my god. How did that guy even know he was there? Okay, this is kind of rough because he's got a plate up and he's also getting pushed by the gas. Yep, season. Yes! <laughs> That's so good. How many kills? I think he had like 14 kills. 14 kill solo win. Nice. Don't you think so, Winnie?